Hi guys, this is Rodriguez from Warp Knitting in Practice and you should ask me what is Warp Knitting in Practice? So Warp Knitting in Practice is my YouTube channel that was created to develop content on the Warp Knitting technology. Today I'm gonna talk about the basic lappings, but before that let's run the opening video. Come with me! Well, first of all, I'm gonna show you guys the lapping board. It is a board to represent the dotted paper and it will be used to develop all graphic representations of the basic lappings. Let's understand how it works. So here, as you can see, we have numbers from 0 to 6 to represent the spaces between the needles. All white points represent the needles and the horizontal lines represent the stitch courses and the vertical line means that we have stitches at the same needle. So on the lapping board we will represent all the basic lappings. And which are the basic lappings? The basic lappings includes pillar stitch, one by one lap, two by one lap, three by one lap, four by one lap, atlas lap and two needle overlap. So now we are going to construct the lappings on the lapping board. Let's get started. Well, let's start with the closed pillar stitch that has the chain notation 1, 0. In this lapping, the guide bar places always the same yarn around the same needle. So, starting here, we have 1, so goes on 1, after that, 0. We can do it again, 1, 0, one more time, 1, 0, 1, 0, and to finish, 1, 0. As you can see, here we have the lapping Closed pillar stitch represented on the lapping board. Now let's represent the open pillar stitch that has chain notation 1001. And this is the repeat. So we need first to go to the space 1, after that 0. This is the first stitch. The second stitch is 0, 1. Now it's finished, but we can continue doing on the next needles. Again, 1, 0, 0, 1. Again, 1, 0, and 0, 1. So, this is the representation of the open pillar stitch on the lapping board. Now let's represent the one by one closed lap that has chain notation 1012. So we need to go first on the number one, after that zero, and one, Two. Here we finished the repeat, but we can continue doing on the next needles. So pay attention here. When you do this movement, here we have swinging in after that overlap, 
swinging out and underlap and here we have the last stitch so this is the representation of the one by one close the lap on the lapping board let's represent the one by one open lap that has chi notation 0 1 2 1 so we need to go to 0 after that 1 now 2 1 the basic lapping is finished here but we can continue doing on the next needles again 0 1 2 1 so this basic lapping is represented on the lapping board let's represent the 2 by 1 closed lap that has chi notation 1 0 2 3 this is the repeat so let's do the first repeat first repeat we have one zero and two three this is the repeat now we can continue doing on the next needles so here we have swinging in on the space one overlap swinging out on zero and here we have the underlap and to finish the last stitch we have two three so here we have the representation of the two by one closed lap on the lapping board let's represent the three by one open lap on the lapping board that has the chi notation zero one four three so we need to go first on zero after that one and now four three this is the repeat but I'm going to make on the next needles again zero one four three this is the representation of the three by one open lap on the lapping board let's represent the four by one closed lap that has chi notation one zero four five so we need to go first one zero after that four five here we have the repeat completed and pay attention that we have a long underlap so but we can make the the same repeat again on the next needles so here we have swinging in overlap swinging out and a long uh, underlap after that four five to finish the last stitch so here we have the representation of the four by one closed lap on the lapping board let's represent the four by one open lap that has chi notation zero one five four this is the repeat so making the first stitch we have zero one now we need to go to five four 
this is the repeat that I'm going to make on the next needle zero one again and five four and this is the representation of the four one open lap on the lapping board so and now four row closed atlas that has a long repeat with eight stitch courses so the first stitch course is five four five four the second three four three four now two three two three now one two one two and now zero one zero one zero one so two one two one three two three two four three to finish this entire repeat so here we have the representation of the four row closed atlas on the lapping board now let's represent the four row open atlas that has a long chain notation with eight stitch courses the first stitch course is four five the second four three three two two one one zero one two two three and three four let's start making here the representation the first stitch course is four five four five the next is four three four three now three two three two two one two one two one now one zero one zero and now one two one two two three and three four to finish this repeat after that we can start all the lappings again so this is the representation of the four row open atlas on the lapping board so let's represent the closed two needle overlap pillar stitch that has chai notation zero two so we need to start on zero and goes to two notice that we have overlap around two needles and again we go to zero and two here we have the repeat one more repeat and we can do on the next two needles zero two again and zero two so this is the representation of the closed two needle overlap pillar stitch on the lapping board and now to finish the representation of the basic lappings let's represent the open two needle overlap pillar stitch that has chai notation zero two two zero this is the repeat so the first stitch starts
starts on zero and it goes to two. The second stitch is two zero, so two and zero. So this is the repeat, but we can make on the next needles again zero two and two zero this is the representation of the open to needle overlap pillar stitch on the lapping board so this way we finish the representation of the all basic lappings here on the lapping board if you liked this video be sure to subscribe leave a comment and click on the like button and you can also come back here to check me out when i upload another new videos here on my youtube channel thanks for watching this video and i hope to see you again bye bye